Firstly, a big thank you to MSI for making it possible for Tim and myself to attend Computex 2019. Please check out their latest AMD X570 motherboards made for gamers and creators via the link in the video description. Also, a thank you to Corsair for their support. Please check all their exciting products out via the link in the video description. Welcome back to Hardware Unbox. Steve has already gone through all the excellent X570 motherboards and other cool things at the MSI booth, but there is more to check out at this year's Computex show from MSI, including a whole new range of monitors, many more monitors than I was expecting actually, as well as a couple of interesting laptops. So. Let's start with the monitors, I think, because, you know, I love my monitors here. So the first product that really excited me was the new MPG 341 CQR. And yeah, I really do need the notes here for these product names because, yeah, MSI likes their letters and numbers salad going on there. So this is a 3440 by 1440 144 hertz curved VA panel. So it's quite similar to the LG 34 GK 950F in terms of it being one of the highest refresh rates available for that resolution and size. It does have a couple of unique features. It has a camera that detects faces and can change settings based on who sits in front of the screen. So if you have multiple users, it could be useful, you know, if two pe different people have different settings configured for them, they just sit in front of the screen and it will automatically uh, switch the setting profiles there. It can also be disabled if you're concerned about privacy. Um, it also comes with two unique things in the box. Don't often see this. One is a webcam or camera mount that supports up to 700 grams of weight. So that's not just your sort of cheap webcams, but you could definitely put some sort of decent camera up there for your sort of streaming. And also it does come with a mouse bungee and both of those things included in the box, as I said. And MSI rep tells me this monitor will be factory calibrated. So that's nice to see. It also has display HDR 400 certification. By the sounds of it, it's typical HDR 400. So that means basic HDR support at best, not really your true HDR. Doesn't really matter though, because it looks like it's priced very competitively for a non HDR monitor. It's priced at just 900 US dollars. Uh, that's locked in. Did see some reports of an $800 price, but MSI tells me the official price is $900 US, that is. Um, so good, pretty good competitive price there. LG's uh, competing option fluctuates between the $800 to more often up around the $1,200 mark. So yeah, it's not a bad price from MSI with that sort of first generation product there. They also have a monitor that I haven't seen a lot of buzz on. This is the MAG 321CURV. Um, yeah, it's surprising not to see too much talk about this one because it's, I guess it is nothing crazy. It's a 4K 60 hertz curved VA panel, 32 inches. But the big news is the price. I was told it's going to come in at just 500 Australian dollars, which would make it the cheapest 32 inch 4K monitor uh, on the market here. And if you convert that to sort of your US dollar pricing, unfortunately, I didn't get an actual confirmation on what it would cost in the US, but it should be around that 300 to 350 US dollar mark when you do a uh, sort of conversion there, which would again make it a really great value option. Um, so yeah, hoping to see that soon. We've also got the MAG 271R or MAG 271R, either way, I guess. Uh, this is a pretty cool display, 27 inch 1080p, 165 hertz, but it is a flat VA. So often we see at this price in the sort of budget category, uh, we see curved VAs, but this is one of those flat options that people like to see. Should also be affordable, but again, uh, no firm word on pricing here, unfortunately. Then for the creators out there, we have the Prestige PS341WU. This is pretty similar to the LG 34WK95U that I reviewed in that it's a 5120 by 2160 ultra wide, uh, 34 inches in size. It's just 60 hertz, but it's still pretty good for creators. It uses nano IPS technology, so I believe it's the very same LG panel. 98% DCI-P3 coverage, 90 plus percent Adobe RGB as well. It's factory calibrated to Delta E's below 2.0 on average, according to an MSI rep. Display HDR 600 with basic local dimming, so it sounds like it'll be semi-HDR, again, similar to the LG model. Very impressive feature set for one of the first creative monitors from MSI. There's plenty of color modes, including all the basic stuff that you'd want to see. It also has a great utility, a great software utility. It's designed much better than usual. Three user calibration profiles with hardware integration. So that means if you've got your calibration device, you can create a profile and upload it into the monitor. And having three slots there, it tends to be a bit better than I've usually seen for monitors. And you should even be able to set triggers to change the color profile depending on the app you 
using. So for example, you're using Photoshop, you could automatically change it to DCI-P3 and then go back to Chrome and change it to sRGB on the fly. Have again seen some, seen some places report the price as 1300 US dollars, but I heard $1,200 from the reps on the show floor with that price being locked in. So $200 to $300 cheaper than the LG option. Uh, again, should be a very high quality display there at a great price. Other monitors, there's just a couple of other updates here. The Oculux G-Sync monitors with the 1080p resolution and 240Hz refresh rate. The one with the 0.5 millisecond response time was shown at Computex last year, but never really came out. Uh, but that has been released now. So I guess a year later, we're starting to see that. Same with the Super Ultra Wide That was shown at Computex last year, and it should be available pretty soon. Most of the monitors that I've talked about today will be released at the end of July or early August. So very, very soon for getting some of these products in. I'm really hoping to get to review some of them in the coming weeks. I think there might have been one like the MAG 271R that wasn't coming on that date, but most of those are at the end of July. Moving into laptops, the big product at the show, and I mean that literally, is the GT76 Titan. So this is the sort of thing I think Intel were meaning when they talked about muscle books in their latest presentation for their ninth gen processors however it doesn't use a ninth gen h series cpu in fact it uses a full socketable core i9 9900k at least in the top end models plus rtx 2080 graphics it is unfortunate that the rtx 2080 is a mobile version rather than the fully fledged desktop version but you still clock pretty well when you see the cooler that they are using and msi was very keen to show off the cooler 11 heat pipes with four fans, two thermal modules, one for the CPU, one for the GPU, CNC polished plates for the CPU, and plenty of heatsink area to cool the components. The thing, the entire laptop actually was pretty loud on the show floor. The show floor itself is loud, but you could definitely hear the laptop over the, the people talking there. Um, and as you'd expect it, that's pretty typical for a laptop of this size and performance. No word on the fan profile used, though. It's also unclear how the 9900K performs. We weren't really allowed to do benchmarks on the show floor. It would surprise me if the cooling solution was good enough uh, to put it up to the sort of desktop level that you'd see from a high-end desktop system. But I would also expect well above laptop level with performance from an H-series CPU. You know, if you're putting a 9900K in a laptop, you'd want it to perform better than those H-series processors. Um, it also requires two power connectors with an adapter, so that's something to keep in mind. 4.5 kilograms heavy, so big boy, starts at 3,600 US dollars, goes up to 4,800 US dollars, 1080p or 4K monitor options, and yeah, it's a massive beastly laptop. The other main gaming laptop MSI had on show is the GE65 Raider, which is the 15-inch version of the GE75 Raider that I looked at just a little before Computex and I actually really liked. It has, of course, the latest RTX graphics and up to a Core i9 processor from Intel's ninth generation. But the key feature I think here is the 240Hz IPS level 1080p display. So 240Hz displays are new to gaming laptops and it's great to see it as well in the 15-inch form factor here with the GE65. You'll also get one of what I think is MSI's best mid-sized sort of, I guess you'd have to say, gaming laptop designs. Really like the keyboard as well in this laptop, and it comes with the latest killer Wi-Fi 6 networking experience. Thanks to Jared's Tech for some of the footage that we're showing off here. As for other laptops at the show, it was mostly creator-focused using the new NVIDIA Studio line. You might have seen the announcement for NVIDIA Studio. I covered that in my video on the NVIDIA Computex Keynote. So we did have a couple of cool products there. The things that really stood out to me were the MSI WS65 and the WS75. Uh, very similar to the GS series for gaming in terms of its design, but you'll get things like a Quadro RTX 5000 GPU with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which will be great for those creator applications, especially you know large Premiere files, 3D modeling, all that sort of thing. Up to 64 gigabytes of RAM is included in there. 4K displays, again, should be great for creators. I also really like the fingerprint reader in the trackpad, and the GS and WS design in general, I think, is really excellent. I love it on the gaming products, and I think it'll work really well for these works station class slim and lights as well we've also got uh, prestige laptops for creators with some spec bumps to the latest hardware so all the stuff that you'd expect there the prestige line unlike the ws line is more designed not necessarily for your high intensity creators for things like 3d modeling but more your image editing with photoshop doing some you know premiere work and all that sort of thing so very exciting lineup from msi Really excited to get those monitors in, in particular. So I think they've got 
really high quality and budget oriented model is going for the sort of value plus high end specs across a lot of their products. So yeah, MSI, they tell me they are the fastest growing monitor company in the world at the moment. And I'd certainly believe that because in the space of a couple of years, they've come out with all sorts of monitors across so many different price categories, product categories. It is definitely very impressive to see how they've grown and I tend to like what they are able to achieve. So looking forward to reviewing some of those in the end of July, early August. August sort of time period. Anyway, that's it for our MSI coverage at Computex 2019. Don't forget to check out Stigger's video on the motherboards, some cases, some cool other things that MSI had on show there. Big thanks to them for sponsoring us and as well as Corsair for Computex 2019 coverage. And I guess we'll catch you in the next one.